In this video, I'll tell you all the geoglyph locations in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Those are those giant yellowish green drawings on the ground you might have noticed around Hyrule. I hope you learn how to get to them, where to locate their Dragon Tear memory cutscene, and most importantly, in which order to unlock them all so you can watch the entire storyline also in the correct order. There is additionally a secret 12th Dragon Tear that unlocks once you do all 11. So hit that subscribe button for more Zelda content and let's get started on this. So for this video, I marked all the geoglyph locations beforehand so we can lock each one and follow along. In order to get the side quest started, you have to head west from Lookout Camp Central Hyrule area over to the New Serene Stable and head a bit north from there where you encounter Impa to trigger the main Dragon's Tear side quest. Both of you go up in her balloon, and then there, you get a good glimpse of what these geoglyphs look like from up high, as well as the dragon tier spot. It's a little tier icon that's filled, unlike the others. Once you go down there, you encounter it, you're going to interact with it. It's going to trigger a cutscene memory, kind of like the memories from Breath of the Wild. These memories are really cool. They give a lot of backstory as what happened to Zelda. I'm not going to show them. I want you to encounter this in your own game. They're amazing, but you got to watch them in order. Once the cutscene is over, Impa will talk to you about the next geoglyph location and how it might be in the Forgotten Temple inside this huge ravine just north of your location. She's actually going to mark this location in the map. It will make it really easy for you to get there. So head to that location pinged on your map called the Dragon's Tier. You're going to head over there to what's called the Forgotten Temple. You're going to encounter both Kato and Impa, as well as a shrine if you want to mark that location for later fast travel. Interact with them to progress the quest. You go deeper into the temple, and then you encounter what this is like a scaled down version of Hyrule. This is the approximate location of each geoglyph on the map. However, they don't tell us what order to do them. Take a picture of this if you wish, and then we can move on to the next dragon tier. The next one is on the mountainside near the Hebra Mountains. Get there via the Pekaida Stone Grove Tower, or the closest shrine you can find that's east of the Rito Village. I used the Sky Tower, and I made my way through the snow. Now, when you were going up there, you won't initially be able to see it from this angle, but if you keep heading south from the Sky Tower, you will eventually find it deep into the snow. Follow the geoglyph temple design to the center, like I'm doing here, and eventually you will see where the second dragon tier memory is. It's that one filled out that's different than the others. Touch it, interact with it. We got our second one now. Enjoy that cutscene. Now let's go get to our third dragon tier memory. For this one, we have to head east past central Hyrule, and we're gonna go towards what's called the Elden Canyon Skyview Tower, just east of Hyrule Castle. Head over there, launch yourself in the air, and you're gonna be able to spot this huge pyrapad shaped geoglyph on the ground as well as the dragon tier this one is actually super easy to spot you shouldn't have any issues with it it's gonna be right down there in the ground right in the middle another one down another memory another cutscene so let's head on to our fourth one for this one we're gonna head southwest from where we just were near nabi lake via the sahazra skyview tower this one's another easy one to spot and also easy to get to, except the dragon tier this time is covered up by a few trees, it's kind of in this like wooded area. So what you have to do is you have to land towards that wooded area, go right in the middle, and you should be able to see the dragon tier, go over to it, collect that memory, and watch that cutscene. Now we're going to head all the way west to the Gerudo Canyon Skyview Tower to reach the geoglyph on the highlands northwest of it. So this one is a little bit tricky. Because when you land, you have to make sure you are closer to the top of the ridge, not the bottom. The tier is actually going to be on the snowy part, kind of like on the second tier. No pun intended, the second tier of this ridge. So I used this balloon that was in the area to get there. Use whatever method you can to get to it. Found these helpful balloons and I made my way towards it. And there we go. Encounter that tier and move on to the sixth dragon tier memory. Okay, now for this one, we will need to head to Lindor's Brow Skyview Tower. This is near the very first geoglyph we encountered, just a little bit northwest of it. You're going to go over there and launch from it and immediately head south. Now, this geoglyph is on this like red clay looking plateau far in the distance. 
with the stable between it and you can see it right here in the video for this one what i did is i landed near the stable i got myself a horse and i made my way just below that ridge plateau for easier quicker access the dragon tier is on the southeast side near a zonai balloon basically once you climb up the plateau keep heading south you're going to see the zonai balloon when you see it you know you're near the dragon tier go ahead and interact with it collect it watch that cutscene, and enjoy okay we're halfway done now and this one is huge and super easy to spot we're going to go to that claw looking shape of land island on the southeast portion of the map using the Rebella Wetlands Tower. You're gonna launch from there, and when you're up, head south, look south, you can't miss it, it's huge. Make your way down to the left side of the claw and collect that memory. Okay, now we're gonna head all the way back to the Hebra area and the northwest location of the map. Again, use that Pekaida Stone Grove Skyview Tower, but this time, after you launch yourself from it, head east. Now, you won't be able to miss this giant geoglyph. Like, you literally can't miss it, even through the snow. It's massive. You're going to make your way down, and the dragons here is going to be on the west side, aka the left side of this geoglyph. It's very difficult to miss it. Just make your way down through the snow, and you'll be all right. Collect that tier, collect that memory, and let's move on to the next one. We are almost done. We're going to head east near the Zora and the Lanairu Sea via the Upland Zorana Tower. Launch yourself from that tower and make use of any Sky Island to get to this one. This one's a bit far, so you have to take advantage of islands, recall, whatever method you can do to get yourself over there to keep heading east. I looked for the smoke rising up from this huge Moblin camp. I went towards it and you can actually see the geoglyph out in the distance. So just past the Moblin camp, once you go around it, you'll be able to spot the Geoglyph. It's not too far off, and it's easy to get to while you're gliding. You won't need any extra stamina. Once you land, you're going to head up this small little hill to collect the Dragon Tier, and there you go. This one's done. On to the number 10. Okay, this one's over by Lake Hylia, and this is very difficult to get to since there are no towers directly near it. I use the Poplar Foothills. But you could approach it from the west via the Gerudo Canyon Tower if you want. It might actually be easier that way. So the Geoglyph is super easy to spot. You can see it from a mile away. But it's difficult to get to. You want to avoid the bridge and the Gleok unless you're trying to pick a fight with it. And you're going to make your way across the lake. You can use the islands in the lake if you want to. You won't need any, any extra stamina. You won't need any tools. However, it will make your life easier if you do use them. So if you approach from the west, you actually will be behind the geoglyph. You won't see it since it's on the side of a mountain. If you approach from the east where I came, you'd be able to see it and you have no issues getting there. Climb to the top of the hill and head to the south side of the geoglyph all the way on the bottom to approach this geoglyph and its dragon tier. And there it is. Collect that dragon tier. Collect that memory. We have one more to go before we unlock the secret dragon tier. Okay, this one's actually super easy to get to, especially if you unlocked the Typhlo Ruins Skyview Tower. Head over there, launch yourself from it, and you immediately spot the sword. This is just west of Death Mountain. It's not difficult to get to. However, the geoglyph is super easy to spot. And there it is. There's the sword. Go all the way up to the tip and collect the Dragon's Tier and watch the final cutscene before unlocking the 12th Dragon Tier. Once you interact with this, another cutscene will play. I'm going to spare you from spoilers. This is a really cool storyline. The map will then ping another location out in the east in what's called the Spiral Wrist Peninsula. This is easy to spot. It's going to be pinged in your map. Head over there via the Uri Mountain Skyview Tower for easy access. And there it is. Make your way down. Collect it. All Dragon Tier memories and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom all in order. Enjoy it, enjoy the cutscenes, and enjoy that storyline. If this video helped you and you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe for more Zelda videos. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.